hello guys my name is Carlton from this video we want to learn on how to create a DTM from a point cloud data the one that you usually would have been collected by a drone so what we need to do is navigate to our directory first then set it as a working directory so let me minimize and show you the files that we have so this is the files that you need to have you need to have an LAS file or an LAZ file so when you are creating the when you are creating the point clouds make sure they are LAS or LAZ from the whatever uh, software that you'll be using for calculating for creating the point cloud sorry so from there I will drag any one of these and make sure sometimes you should have a, a boundary for the, for the area that you are working on so I'm going to drag the LAS file so it's now loading as a our point data uh, in CPAC. So then sometimes it will take a few minutes to do so. When it's done, you should be able to see the layer here. And then from the layer, we can then uh, do the other steps that are required. So a big uh, data set like this one. So if you try to convert all of it uh, at once to, into a SEPA, uh, into a DTM, it will take longer to open and even other laptops or computers which are older won't be able to open this. So what you need to do now is to go to point cloud, then you say edit. Uh, so before that, you can load your boundary string. I have a boundary string. This is my boundary string. It's not to the elevation of the area of light, but it will do. So now you go to point cloud, you go to edit. That's the first thing that you do. So, so I need to select the a LAS file first, sorry. That's why it's giving me a warning here. So let's do again, edit. Then we want to edit layer. Either you digitize a polygon on the area that you want or you use any of the above but I like using an existing string an existing segment sorry so I will use the existing segment it will ask me to retain points inside the poly or outside I want the points inside and it will ask me whether to save the output as a different file or not so I will say drone data for that for this time then I'll just say apply then it will ask me to select the segment this is the segment that you want then after selecting the, the segment it will again start processing uh, depending on the fastness of your computer and how big the data set is uh, we are looking at something like two minutes uh, two to two to three minutes for it to finish uh, calculating this so as it's exporting you notice that it will show you here the progress of the exporting and once you are done, it will create a new layer here, which will have the name that we have uh, given to the new data set. Okay, guys, after it is done processing, it took me around um, two minutes. So as you can see, if we switch off this uh, first file, you notice the area that we want is this area only. So now we have the area that we want this one we can now remove it the layer so this is the one that we make our we make it our working directory make sure it's our working directory this is the area of interest i can now even switch off the boundary i no longer need it so from this file we can now go back to the point cloud then you need to clean it now it depends with the distance that you want uh, outliers to be anything i think for me anything uh, over 0 0.2 i'll call it an outlier uh, then now apply it to ask me whether to create a new folder a new cloud but i don't need to create a new one i'll just use the one that i have if you want to you can create then your rename here i'll just say apply here then after i finish it finishes cleaning uh, the data you can go back again here yeah, now you just say create services 
then you want to create a uh, surface from the mesh area in layer here you don't change anything uh, if you want to repair sometimes it's fine but I don't want to repair anything then you come to cloud a uh, density classification okay sometimes when there is uh, on classification if your data set is classified you, you excuse me you can now select the that uh, the, the data that you want maybe you want the ground points only you can select here but the data that I was given is not uh, classified so we go to cloud density reduction we reduce cloud density we want to use the deviation so you can select the deviation that you want I always use the 0 comma 1 maximum deviation that I want then the minimum distance is up to you depending on the point the maximum difference distance is sorry depending on the points that you want uh, this client wanted a uh, 2 meter interval so this is okay for him or sometimes you have someone who wants 2.5 so it trims the the point so that it it opens a, fa a bit faster so now it's loading now it is finished as you can see we have this color which is our string number one color you can now just save then it will automatically ask you to save as DTM then you just uh, apply then after you apply you will see that we have the DTM string here and also we we'll have the DTM uh, here so again thank you guys for watching so when it's done you will see that it will create an extension here we can actually reset here then we can drag the DTM It would, uh, as you can see it's loading it will take less time to load now than if we had uh, done it without uh, uh, trimming it bye guys